Hello Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for September 18th to the 24th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. The three decks you just saw, I have pre-shuffled for you three times with a bridge. Um, and so now I am ready to do your reading. It may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds of thousands of, for hundreds and thousands of people. If you do like, you hit the subscribe button and um, you'll be able to come back to my videos very quickly. If you want notifications, you hit the bell right next to the subscribe button and then you'll get a uh, notification every time I upload a video. Other, If you don't want the notifications, you just hit the subscribe. Ace of Wands, time for me to stop. King of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles, The Emperor, The Hangman, Justice, Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, and Page of Wands. I'm going to make sure that this is zoomed in correctly for you. Okay, so we have some excitement here this week, all right, with this first start of the week, the beginning of the week. It looks like it's a very exciting energy. You could have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your life or a Tur Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have a Libra. Um, you could have an Aries. Anyhow, it looks like you're, there's a lot of financial stability here. You know, if you, you may be feeling... Um, very comfortable in your work or you may be working quite a bit um, I think that that um, things are very stable financially put it that way I'm trying to get love here we do have Prince Charming up there the Knight of Cups um, so maybe you know love could be heading in your direction you know but I feel like you feel like you think you're on thin ice about something you're feeling insecure about something I'm not sure what that is maybe you're feeling insecure financially because we have this here a lot of a lot of pentacles here so there's a lot of financial um, thoughts this week okay or focus a lot of focus on your financial foundation maybe you know this ten of swords next to this this person which is a man or a woman by the way you know maybe there's an end of a relationship there could be an ending because of this end right here the tens are completion and we have two tens which are you know this is the ten of wands and the ten of swords this is like you are carrying a heavy burden around or you're going to let go, go of something that no longer serves you Okay, you may be you may be sacrificing your time on uh, materialistic things because you know you need to provide for yourself. Maybe you're focusing your time on your work, not giving a lot of attention to love. Okay, because I mean that's what I see right now. You could be focusing your time on finances because you've been lied to. All right, because right here, I mean maybe you've been lied to and and somebody has totally deceived you and you're like fuck this excuse my language you know I don't even I'm not sure about love anymore I can't do this anymore maybe you're just trying to bring logic back to your life okay maybe you're just focusing on your family focusing on what you have right now and bringing organization back okay this is for Aquarius um, you know you could have a new exciting partner that that all of a sudden shows a lot of excitement in you. I mean, we have the new up there, the Ace of Wands. It's a new partnership, usually very attraction oriented, you know. Um, but I'm not sure you're going to be too into that because you're so focused on your job and I think you've been lied to or you feel like you're being lied to. But, it, but you know, here we have the Page of Wands down here and the Ace of Wands up here. It looks like it's almost like you're being um, summoned to do something exciting, to take to take on an exciting um, route and follow follow something more adventurous, you know, to do something that you normally wouldn't do. 
okay but it's it's very exciting so I mean you do have these two exciting energies right here so there's some excitement that could come in but you might be feeling like I'm not so sure because you want to keep the structure you want to keep the the um, you want to be logical about this okay um, <laughs> Here we have the Justice card. The Justice is about doing the right thing. All right. It's also a Karma card. So when you get the Justice card, it means that Karma is into play. So just try to think about things this week and real and try to um, figure out where that Karma comes into play. How that? How could this be Karma? Okay. It also says something about legal matters. I mean, some there could be. You know, and it could be at the ending of a divorce, could be the beginning of a divorce, could be the ending of something, okay, because we have this here. This isn't going to resonate for everybody, and then bits and pieces will, and the other pieces won't because it's for so many people. It also, I mean, we have you have a very big heaviness for some reason. This is a heaviness, and this is a heaviness. And you feel like you're on thin ice, and I'm not sure why. I mean, this could be financial-wise, or this could be relationship-wise. You could feel like your relationship's on thin ice, or you could feel like financially your job's on thin ice, or your bank account's on thin ice. I do feel that way, okay? there's some For some reason, you're feeling insecure, all right? And you have a heavy, heavy burden on your shoulders with these two cards, okay? Um... And I think the burdens are surrounding a choice that you need to make or some choice that you did make, okay? And now you just need to let it go, okay? It's over with. Um, yeah, that's what I see. We're going to get the next deck. I think you're seeking balance this week. I really do. Yeah, you might have some excitement that wants to come in and throw you off guard. <laughs> it is exciting, and there could be some, uh, you know impulsiveness okay but I think that you're you don't want you want to keep remain logical you know you want to keep the structure you want to keep the organization you just want to remain in control then you're not going to be lied to it's like you know what don't even try it because I can see right through your bullshit all right Like I said, I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you. You just want peace in your life. Now now you have the Emperor twice. The Emperor, I'm going to try to deal the cards because I, I may tend to talk before I get the cards dealt. Okay, here we have the Six of Swords, we have the Emperor, we have the Two of Coins, this is the Two of Pentacles, the Magician, the Ten of Wands twice, right over, right with the Ten of Wands. And so you have it twice right here, right over the justice. Burdens, burdens, burdens. You're carrying something around that is very heavy that needs to be let go. I'm not kidding because it, it's heavy. I can see the heaviness. Look at how heavy it is. This is holding you back. It's holding you down. It causes stress. It causes pain. You need to just dump it over to the side and say goodbye, and that's the way it is. Anyhow, whatever it is you're holding needs to go. All right, this Eight of Wands, this is very fast energy, very quickly, okay? Something happening very fast. Maybe you, when once you let something go, you start something exciting very fast. That could be the case. This is a very fast moving energy. The Magician is about awareness. As above, so below. It's also the sign of Gemini to me. Okay, some people say it's an Aries, so you could say either one, however it resonates with you. We do have the Emperor twice, so Aries is prominent. So, you know, I don't know if there's an Aries in your life or if you're taking on this energy, but I feel like you're taking control of your life. You want structure this week, and that is the main point. Structure this week. No bullshit this week. I'm not playing games. That's the energy. There's no games. You want peace and quiet. Okay, here, two of coins, that's about making a choice, making a decision, and it's also about change. Okay, so I think some changes need to be made because you feel so much like you are on thin ice, either financially or relationship-wise. 
you feel like you're on thin ice, you're juggling too much, maybe you've spent too much money, or you've got all these burdens on your back and it's causing a little bit of chaos. And that's why the Emperor's here twice. You just want the logic, okay? In this Eight of Wands, maybe things have been happening so quickly for you. This is fast moving energy. Maybe things have been just moving so fast that you haven't even had a chance to bring the logic back. So right now, I think that you're bringing some logic and some structure and some organization back to your life. I'm sorry, this doesn't seem to be much of a love reading. Um, I think you're focusing on organization this week. You know, you could have a new sexual partner if it's your single, but that Ace of Wands, you could have, and the Page of Wands, that comes in, but you may be still focusing on peace and just be like, you know, sounds real good, but I'm not so sure. Right now, things are a little chaotic. Come back next week <laughs> or whenever. You know, I don't know. I think things are a little chaotic. And, this, and if you're coupled, I mean, it could be with a, a partner that you're already with, you know, and they want a little bit more excitement, and you're just, right now, you're focused on something else. You just want peace and quiet right now. Maybe you've been through a lot, and you need some time. I think you have, a lot of you have been through a lot. You definitely have, with the Ten of Wands twice. You've been through a lot, and it's time to let something go and to start the healing process. Or, or move another step in the healing process. Page of Swords, the Moon, the Hierophant. Now this is the future, okay? This is the main um, point of your reading, the Hangman. Sacrifice. Resisting. Sacrifice in your needs for everybody else's. That's what the main point of your, this reading this week. That's what you've been doing, and it's heavy. It's a heavy burden. It's time to heal, and it's, I think that this week you're starting to heal. You're starting to heal from something that gave you a lot of sadness. It's just the beginning of the healing. Temperance healing again. It's a rebalancing. This week is about rebalancing your life. That's all there is to it. And the tower. This is the future now. These are the future cards because it's the after tarot. This right here is observation. Observing something. Maybe somebody's observing you or you're observing somebody else. Okay? This is also um, very honest. It's very... Um, it's a fast-moving energy. It also can mean be, beware, conflict. Okay, trials and challenges. So there could be some kind of challenge or conflict. With this ex new exciting partner, it's a challenge right now. You can't do it. You're just not there. There's been a lot going on. And you're just starting to heal over something big you're just starting to heal okay there's more going on than meets the eye with the moon card there's more going on than meets the eye there's no doubt about it and you just want to remain in control you're afraid of losing control of a situation you know you want to remain you want things to remain in control this right here, this hero font, it comes in when you really have to honor your inner self. You have to honor your inner guide, okay? Um, it's time to um, heal. It's time to deepen your spiritual self and become whole again. I see that you've been hurt, really, really. There's a lot of hurt here. And I see that there's a lot of healing this week. But it's the beginning of healing. This also comes out when you may need some counseling. You've been hurt. Bad. Over something. You know, there's been some pain here. This tower is, believe it or not, 
okay, when the tower comes out, it's a blessing in disguise. All right? In the end, you become stronger for it. So I think this week is about healing, logic, structure. That's what I see. That's what I have, Aquarius. And letting go of a burden. Big, big completion here. We have three tens. Tens are about completion. Completion, completion, completion. I told somebody another sign this. You have three tens. All right. A completion has just happened or is happening. And it's time to let go and start the healing process. And I think this week you're taking another step in the healing process. Talk to you later. Thanks for your patience.